I keep doing it long enough, I might learn how to play that. Howdy, folks. Howdy. Sean Brock here with you once again. I feel like that we're kind of stuck in some kind of a factory warp right here because we've got yet another pre-hyphen war guitar company creation here, except today we've got the Granadio. That's with two L's, okay? Granadio HD. And what is Granadio? Uh, Granadio is a Mexican rosewood. Uh, it's pretty dense stuff. Lots say that it falls between mahogany and uh, Brazilian. And that's the same thing they say about everything, isn't it? Anyhow, this is for Dale Owen. Dale Owen, I'm talking to you. Dale's showstoppers on the reverb. Dale Owen on the Mandolin Cafe. He has a Brazilian pre-war we just did. He has a mahogany we just did. Uh, he has an East Indian, I do believe. If you're looking for a pre-war dreadnought, he's got you covered. And you can check him out. Check out that description box. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'd certainly appreciate it. And then you can uh, be notified every time we upload some foolishness along with a great guitar. I know you tune in for the foolishness, not the guitars, right? <laughs> not me <laughs> anyway let's play through this granadio and let's uh let you hear her and uh, form an opinion about her i i think you'll uh if you like pre-war pre-hyphen war guitar company creations then i believe you will like this one <laughs> here I'm gonna, I'm gonna point this out to you uh, because we're dealing with something a, d a denser wood so the harmonic content see that if we check the harmonics real quick down here Fairly lively, fairly lively. All right, our old bluegrass rhythm, huh? A nice sustain, that's why I would put it going chord to chord. Good subtlety on that, isn't there? Just barely touching the string. So it allows for good voicing uh, in the chords, I think.
got the old capo here. I can find it. I got it before I started. <clears throat> and today I'll remember to, I'll remember to uh, click that. See there? It's like that old seatbelt commercial they used to show in the United States. Click it or ticket, they used to say. <laughs> Key of A. I think up down the fretboard um, that's something about pre-war that's uh, that always seems to be a very consistent part of their builds B string going out of tune that's a consistent part of me dog's got a shake all right there puppy here we go B flat Slap's good. I like it. Well, I I might have said the same thing about the other uh, the others that we've done, and if I haven't, I, I should have. Just good good stuff up up and down the fretboard here. And uh, uh, Granadio, I haven't had a lot of experience with dreadnoughts made from Granadio. I have uh, seen some flamencos and classicals made from Granadillo, and it's it's a it's a very very pleasing wood. Key of B. real nice it pops out the dynamics pop out real well uh, when you switch into a full rhythm it clicks real nice you know the pick attack um, that's always a sign that the top is, is lively you don't have a lot of dead energy going on in there it goes zzz, 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 zzz. all right there puppy 
key of C. test here. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, we have a pre-war guitar company, and I'll apologize in, in advance. I forgot to look at the year on this. We've had so many of them, uh, but I'll put that, of course, in the title. Uh, this is a, I'll hold her up here. We'll talk about her. That way you don't have to look at me. Yes. Uh, this is a level two on the distressing, all right? We have had... A level one on the Brazilian, which was virtually no distressing. And, you know, that, that mahogany that we did last week, I would pretty much call that one and a quarter because uh, it had a little bit of finish check on it. Uh, our East Indian had a one and a half, and now this is level two. So you got, um, you got a little more uh, severe uh, distressing here that a lot of people really like. A lot of people believe that makes the sound, the guitar sound better, and I'm not going to disagree with them on that. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to disagree with them on that because uh, I have certainly seen some very impressive specimens that were heavily distressed. Uh, so I don't know fact from fiction, but I understand why someone would would believe that, and I won't disagree with them. And this is a level two. So it played in traffic there for a minute or two. Uh, check out these sides. Uh, of course, you got the herringbone on the top. You got bone, uh, saddle, nut, ebony, fingerboard, and bridge. Standard pre-war specs. Uh, here's your granadillo on the side there. There she is on the back. And, of course, you got some distressing, you know, throughout. And on the other side as well. Um, your typical C to V neck shape. Uh, this neck is very, very much like the Brazilian that we put up. It's slightly thinner in the first three frets, I think, than the mahogany. And I'm, I mean, ever so slightly. You can, you can tell when you pick it up. It's not something that interferes with your playing. These are wonderful necks. They're just wonderful necks. Uh, in my opinion, if you like one and three quarters vintage style necks, these are very playable. You got your uh, pre-war uh, business there on the back of the headstock. These are open geared uh, aged Waverly's uh, nickel, obviously. And there's the front of the headstock there. Very, uh, very good like i say one three quarter two and five sixteenths we haven't had any of the one eleven sixteenths come through uh this is pretty you you see more of the one and three quarters than you do the one eleven sixteenths i think well it's just uh, sharp and flat huh? but a good guitar And I think there's a certain amount of beauty in the distressing on these guitars myself.
little rhythm thing in E there. There goes a siren, man. I'm, I'm way out in the country, man. When this siren goes by me, something's going down. Good tone up here too. a guitar that you can you can like I was showing on that sus a earlier that you can kind of hammer and throw a note or two in as a compliment and this guitar does that really well Setup has definitely not been altered from the factory, uh, factory original. Uh, strap button has not been installed at the heel. Mahogany neck. I'm, I'm backing up here, but I trust that you guys go and look at the pre-war specs. The the fingerboard uh, is rounded on the edge, not quite as rounded as the East Indian we had. Uh, very very comfortable necks. I'll I'll stress that one more time. And if you are interested in this Granadillo, if you're interested in a mahogany, a Brazilian, a East Indian, check out uh, the description box there. Go to uh, Dale Owens' uh, reverb page, Dale's Showstoppers, or check him on the Mandolin Cafe. Uh, there in the description box, you can email or, or call him from that if you have questions or you would like to make a purchase on one of these. I know he would like to put it in your house. He'll put every one of them in your house, and you can be a pre-hyphen pre war collector if you want to. Uh, he don't care a bit to do that. You know, and he's got plenty of vintage stuff. He's got a 42 D18 and a 44, I do believe, right now. And I uh, got some uh, 50s, uh, D28s, and D18s. And just a ton of great stuff uh, going on that you can uh, you can see his whole inventory there on Reverb. And whether you want to deal on Reverb or not, you can view the inventory and then decide uh, you know what platform suits you for doing your business. Anyhow, uh, honor to have this pre-war HD Granadillo as always, and uh, please. Subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. Mm -hmm.